Hey, it's Daniel Priestley. I want to take you through a little bit of a walkthrough of how AI is changing the game when it comes to running scorecard marketing campaigns. What we're going to do in the next few minutes is completely create a scorecard marketing campaign from scratch, and then we're going to set it up as a scorecard and be ready to launch it. So hopefully this should take less than maybe 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to create something that I know absolutely nothing about just to be nice and um, quick. Okay, so write landing page copy, encouraging uh, a business owner to take a quiz to see if they could save money on tax. So are you a business owner looking to save money on taxes? Take a quick and easy quiz to find out if that could be eligible for tax savings. With just a few simple questions, our quiz will help you determine if you could benefit from tax breaks. Um, uh, continue on with three more benefits to taking this quiz. Get personalized advice on how to save money on taxes. This means you'll receive advice to save time and effort figuring out how to save time, blah, blah, blah. Take a quiz. Um, stay compliant with laws. Okay. Um, and let's give it some even more credibility. Uh, write a company about us. Write a company about us. For a tax advice accounting firm. There we go. Dedicated to business, blah, 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 blah. Our team is highly... Okay, great. So we've got our um, landing page, right? So there we go. So what we need to now have is we need to have some questions for it to uh, ask Oh, that's a really long about us page. Okay, great. So let's go write 10 questions. Yes or uh, yes, no, or maybe answers only um, to determine if a UK business owner could pay less money in tax or, there we go. Are you registered for VAT? Do you have any employees? Do you use your own vehicle for business purposes? Do you have business related expenses? Do you use any equipment for business? Do you rent commercial premises? Do you provide employee benefits? Do you have have you made any charitable donations? Do you attend any business-related events or conferences? Do you carry out any research development activities? Bang, right? So there's the 10 questions, all very relevant for UK tax. Um, <clears throat> uh, write a response after someone answers the quiz, telling them that they could be saving a lot more on tax based on how they answered. Based on how you answered the quiz, it looks like you could be eligible for significant tax savings. The important regular review, blah, 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 blah. Um, Customised tax savings. Contact us to schedule a consultation. Um, write a response saying that they are doing all things correctly and there would be low chan chance of tax savings, but we should be talking about growth strategies instead.
Based on your answer to the quiz, it looks like you're doing a great job with your tax strategy and may not have many opportunities to save on taxes. However, that doesn't mean you can't improve your financial situation. Instead of focusing on the tax savings, let's talk about growth strategies. Amazing. Okay. Write 10 tweets to promote this quiz. Are you a business owner looking to save taxes? Take our quick quiz. Don't miss out on the opportunity to save some money on tax savings. All right. Save time and effort by getting personal advice on how to save money. Stay compliant with tax laws. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I should have said five because this is getting too long. But let's do one last thing. Write an email to an entrepreneur telling them that we have launched a new quiz that could help them to identify tax savings. Hi entrepreneur, I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to let you know about a new resource we've launched to help you save money on taxes. Our team has developed a quick and easy quiz to help you determine if you Blah, 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 personalize, maximize, take the quiz as quick and easy way to get tailored advice. Amazing, right? Um, uh, add a PS asking someone to, asking them to book a time to speak after they get their quiz results. There we go. So now we got all that content, right? So let's go over to score app and let's just go template number one. Are you high risk of burning out? Let's just go and select that template. So our system's just building that there. Um, and we are on the clock, seven minutes in, seven minutes, 20 in. Let's see where we can get to in about 10 minutes. Okay, so here we go. Let's go to build and let's go landing page. So I would just go and take the content here. Are you a business owner looking to save money on taxes? I'll go and copy that and we'll just put that in here. I'm just going to post that in here. Um, and we're going to go, we're going to take one of these ones here. Um, I'll take this headline here. And we'll make that the headline. We can test these pages as well. Boom, are you a business owner looking to save money on taxes? We'll obviously call it the tax saving, oops, call it the tax saving scorecard. There we go. We can help you identify the signs so you can avoid, let's go, we can help you identify ways to save money on your business taxes. So we've got that. So you can see here, I can, I can now go and use those. I can put an about us page because we did the about us. So actually, let's just show you how to do that. Push plus and that looks like a good about us page. So I'll go back to my um, about us content here. Uh, so I'll just cut that and paste that copy. So I'll just put this in here. And I'll put here, take your business. There we go. That's nice. I'll change that image as well, and I'll put it um, images business owner. 
We'll put that there. So pretty simple to do, All right? I can put a video there or I can just delete that, get rid of that one. All right, I can put some companies that I've worked with there. Um, I'll delete that one. All right, so you can see here, I'm pretty much on the way to having a landing page. Okay, so let's save that. Let's go to the questions. So questions, we've got our 10 questions that GPT has done. OpenAI, are you registered for VAT? So I'm just gonna copy that question and I'm just gonna go into here. I'll just go edit and I'll go boom and I'll get rid of, um, I'll make it all uncategorized just for now, right? So I can go through and do that one at a time, right? So there's 10 to do. Um, if I want, I can just, let go, let's go there. And I'm just gonna delete them all. All right, delete question, delete question. So I can go through and delete them and just basically cut and paste those in there. Now, when someone takes the scorecard, I've got a results page. So I can go to my results page here. And it says this one here, based on how you answered the quiz. So let's go in here, I'm gonna copy that. And I'm going to change this from a radar chart to something else. I don't want to do that one. I want to have a thermometer because that's nice and new. Um, and I'm going to get rid of this radar. And I am going to um, oh, this is so funny because I haven't used this new system, but pretty simple. So we're going to put in here, um, thank you for taking the scorecard, and we're going to have dynamic content. So we'll enable the dynamic content. And for low risk, we'll put in this one here. I'm just going to put that in there. Paste. And I'm going to rename that. Um, I'm going to save that there. Okay, we're up to 12 minutes. Let's see how we go, see where we can get to for 15 minutes. I'm going to go score tiers. I'm just going to get rid of, actually, I'm going to get rid of um, this one here. Yeah, delete this tier. I just want low risk and high risk. I want to have... Um, I'm going to have uh, high tax saving, low tax savings, All right? So, and I'll just make it 50-50, right? So that's pr pretty simple. I've just changed the score tiers there. Okay, now I can go back to my um, results page and I can go in here and just edit the dynamic content based on low tax savings and high tax savings and all of that content. Basically, if it's low tax saving, I've got that in and then I'll just edit the high tax savings. So I'll cut and paste this one. I did them the wrong way around, right? Should be the other way, low tax and high tax. But anyway, you get the idea, I paste that in there. So basically one response is gonna uh, come up for high tax savings, one response is gonna come up for low tax savings. Um, I can get rid of all these if I want to or I can edit them and put put stuff in there um, and make it a little bit nicer. And then I can have my call to action. Now, what I might also do is I will, I'll just save that. I will go in here and I'm just going to go results email. So let's have a results email. Um, there we go. Oh wait, we've got that. Oh, that was the, sorry, that was the email I'll send to the database to promote it. Okay, let me go in here, write an email thanking the entrepreneur for taking the quiz and ask for a meeting. So I've got this, thank you for taking a tax saving quiz, we appreciate it, could be eligible for that based on the quiz results, looks like boom. So I've got that. 
So I can edit that, but most of it's written. Quite a long email. There we go. So I can go in there, copy that, and then I go into my results email, paste that in there, and I can just edit that. So we've got all of that going on there now. And uh, I can, yeah, cool. So now that's saved. So essentially we've now got all of that. I can go to my share button. I can click on, if I want a QR code, I can get a QR code for this if I want to share it from stage or I can tweet it um, and we can create uh, that, but I can use the tweets that I wrote before. So I've got 10 to choose from here. Save time and effort, all right? So I can just go boom, 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 copy, and then I can tweet that, all right? So that's ready to go. And if I want, I can also do my uh, LinkedIn post um, that we that we did here. Um, where did I do a LinkedIn post? Did I do it? Oh yeah, here we go. Oh no, that was the about. Oops. So I could do a LinkedIn post. Write a LinkedIn post about the importance of reviewing your business for tax savings. So boom, I've got this. I've now got all of that content. I can put that into LinkedIn and away I go. I can, can share it. So we're 16 minutes in, 16, 17 minutes in. I've used chat GTP to create content. I've got lots and lots of content for my campaign. It's still writing some content here for my LinkedIn post. Um, and I've plugged that into a scorecard campaign. All right, it's already in draft mode. Once I make it live, I can change that image there, personalize assessment. Oh, okay, that image works. Um, and then I've already got some of that content there. I can delete all of those if I want to edit that content. But you get the idea. There's my about page that we wrote with copy.ai. You get the idea that this is pretty damn simple now. So I've done all of that completely from scratch in under 20 minutes. If you put a little bit of thought into this, uh, maybe you're going to take an hour, maybe you're going to take two hours. Um, but, you know, we're talking about taking a couple of hours and having a complete campaign with emails, with tweets, the whole damn box and dice, the whole shooting match is done. So what have we done here? We've used OpenAI. Uh, I've created a free account. Um, I've used ChatGPT, which is the new AI um, testing uh, environment. Uh, I've then taken that content, I've plugged it into Score App, um, and you can see that I'm three quarters of the way through the setup guide already. If I get stuck, I can use this setup guide. It's all ready to go. Uh, and away we go. We are good to go. I can use the help center. I can join the community. I can take some courses. Um, all of that's all there really nicely, nice and easy to, uh, to, to find and to go with there. Um, so as soon as I'm ready, I can push publish and I've got myself a scorecard. I've got a lead generation campaign ready to go for 2023. I um, hope you found that interesting. I hope you found it mind-blowing, actually. I find it completely mind-blowing. Um, let me know in the comments, is this blowing your mind? Is that, it, People are going to see that this is like an 18-minute, 19-minute thing. They're going to go, mm, is it worth watching? Let people know in the comments if this was mind-blowing or not. All the best.